Okay, uh, I have never played Brogue before. I've never heard of Brogue before. There's no how long to beat entry for it, so I just put an arbitrary number in there. I assume if it's a roguelike game that it's much longer than that. Um, but I just assume that it's roguelike. So <laughs> let's check it out. Um, I've done a little bit of video testing with this, but otherwise I haven't seen anything. So let's go ahead and hit new game here. I assume it also has no music, which probably is fine, but I might throw on some just background music um, quietly here after a bit. So let's look at the menu first. Uh, okay. Rest until better. Autopilot. Rethrow at last monster. Easy mode. Suspend and quit. Okay, so there's no way to cheat saving, which is good. Uh, hide color effects. Display stealth range. Enable graphics. Well, those are kind of nice. They still kind of look like ASCII graphics, but they're not like... It's not like um, ADOM, where it's complete graphical. I think I'll use that just for stream visibility, and because I haven't played it before. Uh, capital D is discovered items. Interesting. So is this like... Okay, so this is this is a rogue like this is this is more like rogue than most of the rogue lights we've played presumably. I think the most rogue like game I've played other than Adom is probably <laughs> Toe Jam and Earl. Uh, so is this like a list of all of the things that scrolls, potions, staffs, and wands can roll, and they'll get highlighted if I've already found them in my run? Because I think it's, I assume this is showing me the chance of discovering one of them. Yeah, so technically I'm playing, um, when I went to go download this, it said, hey, you should go to this community website that has a community edition of it. I don't know what all they've changed, but the creator recommended that. So dungeon seed is 274979069, turn zero. Okay, and if it's rogue, then I assume I can use the numpad to move because diagonals might matter. Okay, okay, and I see the stealth distance, that's cool. Grass like fungus crunches underfoot. There's a rat nearby. I guess most of my learning is going to have to come from Adom. Probably closer to what this is than um, Toji and Earl. Scroll entitled Ganiflim Gird. You now have a scroll. Okay, cool. Chilly winds blow upward from the Stygian depths, so maybe don't walk into the Stygian depths. Got it. Is there like a search button? S is search. Ah, okay, so you have to fill in a little bar. Is there like a wait button? Five is wait. Oh, and it looks like it makes me stealthier. That's kind of nice. Sleeping rat, sleeping kobold. Dispatch the kobold in its sleep. Dispatch the rat in its sleep. Full of urine covers the ground. So is this based directly on Rogue? Is this like a modern playable client or is it a distinct game from Rogue? Because I've never actually played Rogue officially. Oh, it's too dark over here for me to see, I see. Arius cloaked in shadows, a safe place to hide. Lavender potion. A rat bites you. How dare you? See, these little things are puddles. Gotcha. Here, I'm going to put on some light background music. I'll, uh, I'll turn it down. Hold on. Inspired directly by Rogue, you're saying? Okay, interesting. So you automatically pick stuff up when you walk on it. I'm guessing the staircase is effectively our exit, but we want to explore everywhere else. I'm looking at the bottom here. So, E Explore, pressing Explore, does that just kind of like automatically walk around? Can it get me in trouble? And what's the difference between Explore and Autopilot? I assumed autopilot was that.
Maybe there's a... I thought I saw something about like a help menu. Help. Oh, let's find help. Move cursor. Oh, you can also click to travel. Enable keyboard cursor control. Move or attack. Apply, equip, remove, throw, drop, call, relabel, swap. I think I'm going to take a screenshot of this screen and put it on another monitor here. Hold on. Capital T, rethrow last item. Right click, list discovered items. A big fan of this list discovered items mechanic. That would have been great in um, Toe Jam and Earl. Rest for 100 turns or until something happens. Ah. Control S, long search. Auto explorer, autopilot. Toggle graphics. Okay. Pass through the doorway. Second lavender potion. Okay, so once I know what the lavender potion does, dungeon exit. Interesting. Then presumably I'll know what every lavender potion does. Think of that name as like a um, like a variable name, I guess. Gotcha. Jackals and kobolds, okay. Bloodwort. Out of healing spores. Well, that's nice. Cool way to do healing, too. Look at these rats. Don't want to walk out onto this cliff. I think that's meant to be a cliff. Full of urine. Okay, so nutrition is food. I have to have a certain amount of it. I have a blue potion. This is a suspicious little area over here. So in ADOM, you can kind of cheese the level design by um, looking for parts of the map that look like there are holes or gaps. I assume I could do something similar to that as far as knowing when I should be using the search command. Dispatch the jackal in its sleep. So, is there a difference between the wait command and the search command in terms of... Oh, waiting helps with my stealth, but searching does not. Okay, I'm just like, if I ever want to wait, shouldn't I always just search just in case there's something there, but I guess not. Sunlight streams through cracks in the ceiling. And I can pretty much hold down S. I think I found everything there is to find. So I feel like I should experiment with the potions now. Let's see, I... Lavender Potion is the F button. Apply. You can feel purple gas eating at your flesh. Well, that's not good. Okay, so it's filling this room. Gotcha. But now if I hit shift D, caustic gas. Cool. Okay. And I have the ability to throw potions too. So I could maybe use that offensively in the future. Must think start. I wonder if that destroyed the healing thing over here. Thanks, Bloodwort Spores. 
you know, it's exciting building your like library of things that you've learned. I think that this menu makes this game way more playable than I would normally expect from this genre, you know? Went down some stairs. Got other potions. I think my plan is to only start testing potions when I have more than one copy of the same potion or scroll. So this came out in like 09 and has gotten consistent updates since then. Scroll. Or it seemed like the main developer dropped it in like 2018 and then they started getting community edition patches. Must be my second mauve potion, so now I can see what that does. Drink potion. Gee. It must have been a potion of detect magic. Feel the presence of magic on the level and in your pack. Interesting. Okay, and now it says a potion of caustic gas, a potion of detect magic, and I'm gonna guess the blue icon means beneficial, the red icon means not beneficial. Enter switches to looking mode. Oh, I gotta send this to Spikey. Like, Spikey was wondering why the pathing in RuneScape is so bizarre. It's based on this, right? See a jackal. Old school mud pathing. I really gotta get some food here at some point. Feet of the cold. How aggressive is the uh the randomization in this, like, I haven't played Rogue myself, but I've always assumed that it's brutal RNG, where you can just, like, generate a room that the game is unwinnable right from the very start. I'm curious if a typical game of Brogue is winnable if you're making good decisions. Search your pack, but don't have the matching key. Huh. We've got blood work down here. I like the way light works in this game. Bloat. Maybe a wide gap in difficulty, sure. Okay, killing a bloat releases caustic gas, got it. Thanks for sharing this, Sigus. This game is cool. Always happy to get more exposure to actual rogue likes as opposed to rogue lights. Twitter flint creep. Earn thirty pieces of gold. Got more. Holes. You plunge through a hole in the ground. Well, shit. You are injured by the fall. I just found the key, too. Okay, so I have a new scroll. I do have some food. I should probably eat it. Fly. Oh, you're not hungry enough to fully enjoy the food. Thanks, game. Man, that's nice of them. Make that clear. Um, Let's see. E... Why? Scroll of Protect Weapon. Light covers your dagger. Interesting. So 
You got protect weapon. Gotcha. We got a new potion here. I like this discovery list too because it lets you estimate your chance of it being a bad effect based on which ones you've already found. I wonder if this game is going to have something similar to um, Toe Jam and Earl, where like there's an effect that randomizes whether you've identified stuff to make it increasingly more risky to identify things as you go. It must have been a potion of speed. Cool. Fusion trap. If I walk on them, I think it's showing me stuff that I can see. Is there a way for me to attempt to deactivate a trap? I feel like if I just walk into it, I'm going to activate it and that's going to be bad. It's like it's showing me that I can see a rat and it's telling me that that's what that icon means on the top left there. Right now I can see a turquoise potion. Now I picked up the turquoise potion by walking on top of it. Rocky Rubble covers the ground. So I can get more info from the mouse. Oh, okay. You remember seeing a confusion trap here. Yeah, that's really nice. So I can use that to keep track of like where I found those healing scores. Thanks. Yeah, I went to go walk over to the key and that's when I fell in a hole and dropped down a level. Withered fungus. The gas itself is explosive. It isn't necessarily going to kill me on its own. Shallow water. Don't cause an explosion. The eel missed you. Uh oh, that eel is. That was a mistake. Stairs up, downward staircase. I want to go back up if I can. That might not be easy to do. Let's see, if I eat the food now. No, mostly just for nutrition, I assume. Eel is kicking my ass. Let's try throwing the potion, maybe. Out of dodge. Oh, okay, thank you, Kiri. Stone wall is firm and unyielding. Hopefully that killed the eel. Assume it did. Wall mounted torch. Torch, torch is firmly anchored to the wall. Okay. Oh god, another eel. Well, let me get back up to where that key was. Upward staircase. Yeah, okay. So we got some healing here, so that's wonderful. I like the idea of there being healing in the dungeon. It's quite nice.
Presumably I need the key to get back there. Okay. Try to avoid walking into another hole. You remember seeing a hole here. That's really cool. I really like that you remember seeing X here, even if it's not in your current vision, right? Smart. Careful. Brink of a chasm. Plunge through a hole in the ground, damn it. You are injured. Oh shit. Let's avoid the eel here if we can. Feeling the holes. Can I search? Ah. Okay. So search to find holes. Clever. Now, what's the radius that I search in? Is it equal to my stealth radius? Candlelit altar. I already got my healing. Oh, I'm hungry now. Okay. Hopefully, find some more food soon. The food tasted delicious. So far, I don't think anything I've killed has dropped anything. Will they just drop it automatically on the ground if they do have a drop? Ooh. Fancy shit in here. Oh my god. This is very exciting. We have a ring of light. Oh, I had to pick one, maybe? The missing item must be replaced before you can access the remaining items. Ah, clever. Okay. This ring of preternatural vision will allow you to see farther in the dimming light of the deeper dungeon levels. It will not make you more noticeable to enemies. Reveal its secrets if worn for 1500 turns, and until then it will function at best as a plus one ring. Interesting. I can review what these all do. Wow, this, this game is so friendly. Like, it's... It's like, you know, my mental conception of what Rogue would be like, but extremely playable. This game feels more playable than Adom, actually. I like Adom a lot, but... Uh, overlapping strips of metal horizontally encircle a chainmail pace. An aura of benevolent magic radiating from the mail. Penalty of minus 7.5 because of your inadequate strength. It'll reveal its secret if one of your 1,000 turns. Increase your stealth range by 3. So... I assume that we want our stealth range to be as small as possible, not large. Red seems like it means bad. And I guess also pressing the wait button was causing it to shrink. Um, when it talks about me adding inadequate strength, what causes that to go up? Is that just killing things and leveling up? So I want to render a creature temporarily invisible. Only with telepathy or in the silhouette of a thick gas will an observer discern the hazy outline. Three to five charges. See through nearby walls and doors within a radius determined by the level of the ring. A cursed ring will blind you to your immediate surroundings. Wand of slowness, complete armor. Okay, I think I'm going to go for the ring of clairvoyance for now. Seems like it's the least smallest penalty if I use it poorly. No experience or leveling up. What causes your stats to increase then?
pulled. Something I haven't encountered yet. Okay. An active gas vent paralysis trigger. There's a bunch of traps and bullshit in this room. Thought it equipped it automatically, but I can check. Okay, thank you. I maybe assumed it would try to fill slots. Can I see my current equipment? Uh, this is at the very top. Okay. Book is cut. I'm gonna have to wear it for a thousand turns. Hey, thanks for the fall, Koski. Yeah, this game has no music, so I'm just playing something light in the background. Food, very good. I needed that. Some monkey? Mischievous trickster. Steal shiny trinkets. 63% chance they hit you. Hits for 6% of your current health. And at worst, could defeat you in 10 hits. The monkey can steal items. If a monkey steals items, am I able to get it back by killing it? I think the answer is yes. There's my darts back. Okay. Lured it with Monkey Island music. So this is the exit from the floor, but there is a eel over here. I was kicking my ass earlier. So scroll, is this all shallow water? Murky is when it's got the little wave icon. Okay. Water's cold and reaches your knees. There's just a whole bunch of little quality of life features in this game, like when you pick up a, an item, unidentified item that you already have a copy of, it telling you, you now have two of these. Fire trap. Ruby ring. Born with a ruby, glitters in the darkness. Reveal its secrets if worn for 1500 turns. Yeah, okay. Can I equip two rings? I like the idea of things getting identified when you wear them for a certain amount of time. That's cool. Now, even if I know what their effect is, they don't actually get to do something until I equip them for that many turns, right? Two scrolls entitled Erma Herma Nert. It looks like the vast majority of scrolls are positive, so I have a pretty good chance of this not being a problem. Famous last words. This is a scroll of enchanting. Enchant what? Oh, interesting. Pretty much just the dagger, it looks like. Or I guess maybe the darts or the armor. Shift for more info. Dagger gleams brightly in the darkness. Oh wow, that gave me a significant light improvement. Neato. Quintuple damage upon a successful sneak attack instead of triple damage. Intrinsic enchantment of plus one and carries an additional bonus of plus 0 0.25 because of your excess strength. Cool. Maybe I should have done armor. I feel like staying alive is the big problem here. Murky water, I really don't want to mess with that. Looked in shadows, this area. I found the exit.
You defeated a couple. Coins, blue potion. This game's got a lot of urine in it. Dispatch the goblin in its sleep. Jackal's kicking my ass. Some healing spores. I don't think there's anything else of interest up here, but the interest of being thorough. I do have two rings, okay. Keep track of how many more steps I have to take. Oh, it does. Wonderful. Frog. Eat. That seems bad. What the fuck? Lava. Good. Great. Warhammer, eh? Penalty of minus 20 because of your inadequate strength. You have room for seven more items. Do I have to worry about weight in this game? Um, or to primarily just inventory space? More monkeys. Okay. Yeah, I just started about 32 minutes ago. Net trap. Is it impossible for me to disable traps? You now have two orange potions. Okay, let's... Potion of telepathy. Huh. So that... That's cool. I can read the minds of everything on the map and I just know where they are. Is that something that gets clarified in the discovery screen? Let's see. Oh, this is neat too. So since I've already found a ring of light, I, I probably should have gone through that room and inspected all those items, even if I didn't take them. Because I think it would let me identify the same item in the future. Too late for it now, but I'll keep that in mind. Um, telepathy. Oops. Because I can see the one that I have, right? Change your mind of the psychic signature of distant creatures. Won't reveal inanimate objects, totems, turrets, and traps. I might have to deal with that trap. I don't see anywhere else I can go. Brown potion. Wouldn't they show on the discovery menu if they were identified? Because I only happened to pick up the Ring of Light. Step onto the pressure plate. Yes. Stuck in a net. Way to do a net. Oh, keep spawning more nets, okay. It's not the end of the world. Goblin totem and a bunch of goblins. Oh, 
Oh, the goblin totem is buffing the goblin in that room. Fuck that noise. Okay. Ink jelly. This is bad. It looks like it doubles every time I hit it. Okay, I'm about to be extremely dead. You died. Womp womp. Killed by a pink jelly on depth 5 with 236 gold. Quit on depth 1 was just me doing a video test. Okay. It's fine. Let's try again now that I kind of know what's going on. So let me try hitting the explore button this time. Will this stop if I run into combat? Oh, that was fast. I think that's what I just did. Okay. Us who's Porta. See a jackal, see a kobold. Okay, watch out for jellies. They're very bad. Maybe could have tried throwing some random potions at it, but I thought maybe I could make it through the room there. Certainly can't do much, too much through there. All the rats. Indigo Potion. Plus Phlegm Nurglorp. Wonderful. See a rat. Let's go somewhere I've already been. Pressure plate. Do not dive into the depths. Thank you for asking. So presumably I have to throw something onto that pressure plate. Do I have like a... Huh. Oh, that's cool. So it didn't let me in. Oh, it did over here. Okay. So I assume this is the same thing that I have to pick one of these. I'm just getting in the room counts these all as... Yes, it does count them all. Interesting. Staff of healing. You can't use this on yourself, except by reflecting the bolt. Covers a charge in 166 turns. Kills a target by 30% of its max health. Teleport you elsewhere in the dungeon. That seems pretty good, actually. <laughs> it would have saved me last time. Scale mail. Armor rating of four. I might actually want that instead. Wand of negation. Anti-magic. Flight invisibility. Acidic corrosiveness. Telepathy. Magical speed. Slowness. Hypnosis. Spellcasters lose their magical abilities. Totems will be rendered inert. Creatures animated by magic will die. It's a really cool way to do um, rooms here. I like it. Gives you a little bit more control over the run, you know, to give you choices. Now wearing scale mail instead of your leather armor. Okay, cool. Now it says armor four question mark because it might I have to wear it long enough to find out if it's like cursed or something. And if it is, it'll update once I take that many steps. 
burgundy potion. Explosive gas stuff is scary. Basically like swamp gas, I guess. God, more eels. Got more bottomless pits. Always a treat. So much blood. See a cold. Thank you, explore button. It's a lot of jackals. Bamboo staff, which potentially is magical. Zapping your bamboo staff. I don't think I actually used it today. We still don't know what it did, right? I don't know how we would find out. Our exit. Let's look elsewhere on the floor. An active gas vent. Turquoise potion, new scroll, we now have a dagger, assuming it has no hidden properties will increase your current action by 0%, increase your current damage by 0%. That's also nice that it gives you a comparison to what you're currently using. No intrinsic enchantment. Well, let's see if it has an enchantment. I have to kill 20 enemies. So that's cool. I'm like, I was trying to figure out like, what's the point of even fighting enemies if there's no experience, but if you use enemy battles to identify items, that's kind of cool. I dig it. Oh, I think there was another door down here, yeah. More swamp gas. No more eels, at least. Okay, let's see. Kill as many rats as possible. Free identify XP, for lack of a better word. Yeah, I assume that's correct. I'm just wondering if it's better to avoid enemies most of the time. Because they don't seem to drop very much stuff. I'm just so used to, to video game logic, right? It's interesting to see a game take a different approach to it. Two scrolls entitled Pus Flem Nurglorp. Okay, well. This is a scroll of enchanting. Chant them scale mail. Deal with secrets for for fifty three more turns. So the main effect is that it now it glows, which makes it easier for me to see stuff. 
Goblin Conjurer. Yeah, I like this map that tells you how long it'll take you to kill them versus how long it'll take it to kill you. It's very nice. This game is friendlier than some rogue lights, to be honest. Like, <laughs> uh, I'm pretty impressed by that. Cray potion. Scalding poison fills your veins. Well, that was a mistake. I guess now I know. Okay, uh, unfortunately there's a bloodwort stock right in this room. Creeping death is the name of the potion. And it spreads, okay. Keep that in mind, aquamarine ring. I need to be careful here that this stuff doesn't spread to where I can't leave. I don't know if it's able to move through doors or not. Uh, it wasn't anything up here anyway, it looks like. Eels. Oh, this corrosive shit. You descend, okay. I think I should murder a frog next time. Or frog. How's this thing doing? Ten more enemies, okay. Trinsic enchantment moment of plus three. Oh man, I've got kick-ass armor right now. That means I gotta die to something arbitrary. I'm gonna have to run into like a save or die effect and just instantly collapse and lose this awesome armor. Twenty-eight percent chance to hit you. I like that it presents it in terms of the percentage of your current health, too, rather than in, like, health values that you can't track. Almost died of starvation. Plus three scale mail on an early floor. It's pretty great. Dispatched the Goblin Conjurer, catching it unaware. Nice. Can't see my <laughs> glowing armor. <laughs> Pit bloat bursts, causing the floor underneath it to disappear. That's interesting. I'm glad I didn't fall in the water and instantly drown. All right, so we've learned that pink jellies are extremely bad. 34% chance to hit you. At worst, could defeat you in nine hits. Defeated in 13 hit. Divides in two whenever it's struck and it never sleeps. What's this door? Spring loaded arrow turret will fire volley after volley of arrows at intruders. Goblin. Lavender potions for last run. So the arrow turret, basically it shoots along the line of sight that it's pointed at, seems like. Oh god. Hopefully the arrow shot the slime. Well, it's time to try it. My armor will help here. Hey, I killed a jelly, finally. Jeez. Six more enemies. Okay, so the jelly counts as one, unfortunately. Yeah, 
think I had already found a healing stock. If not, I'm pretty sure there's one upstairs. There's one. Yeah, I like making healing exploration based as opposed to having it be like a... I'm sure the game also has like healing potions and that kind of a thing, but... Spectral Blades, Goblin Conjurer, jeez. Okay, Goblin Conjurers are dicks, got it. Keep that in mind. Tan Potion. a second aquamarine potion, so that's exciting. Five more items. Let's try this aquamarine potion. Potion of strength. Cool. Now, is that a permanent upgrade, or... Hold on, I guess I can look here, right? Permanently increasing your strength by one point. Fuck yes. All right, well, that answers that question. Wonderful. Very exciting. Ring of Stealth. Interesting. Unlikely to lose your trail. How lucky. I want to see if my dagger is anything special, you know? See another pink jelly. Bad sign. Oh god, that's a lot of kobolds. Oh right, the fucking goblin totems are really brutal. Gotcha. So goblin totems mean a fairly significant buff to the combat efficacy of the creatures in the room. And I assume that I can target and destroy the totem myself. I can defeat it in eight hits. Okay. Try to keep that in mind, but maybe in the meantime ignore those rooms or try to take them out with like a throne potion or something. Plate armor, gold, plate armor seems really difficult to be able to equip ever, yeah, that's not happening anytime soon. What are we doing on discovery, decent? One more enemy to figure out what the dagger's deal is, if anything. It is a plus two dagger. Unknown runic. Glowing runes of an indecipherable language run down the length of the dagger. So if I wanted to know what the... Um, what the runes do, I would have to get something that lets me read. I don't think there's a scroll for that, is there? Maybe identify. Oh, it's whenever you're in the thing's line of sight, okay. Now familiar enough with your ring of stealth to identify it. I like that identify happens over time 
without always requiring an identify mechanic, right? Like a like a scroll or something. That's cool, and it just makes sense that you would be experimenting with it while you're using it. I like that there's reason to want time to pass. An acid mound, huh? 26% chance to hit you. Corrodes armor when it hits and corrodes weapons when it hit. Nope. Destroying my nice armor. It is willing to come into the water. Oh, every time it does it, it's a penalty? Oh god, that's such a bummer. I think I should have just been fighting it the whole time. <laughs> Taking off my armor as soon as I saw it. Flames billow upward. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is seeming like an okay run a second ago. <laughs> Not so much now. You die. <laughs> Burned to death on depth six with 999 gold. Oopsie doodle. Okay. Well, that was fun. Now I can see that even when you have a plus three skill mill on depth two, thing can come and eat it and you lose everything. <laughs> Going well until it wasn't. I know, right? Scrolls, okay, what we got? Scroll of Enchanting, wonderful. Uh, I guess I'll start with my shitty starting dagger. Why not? See a rat. Javelins. I see no path for further exploration. Okay, wonderful. Went almost drowned myself there. The game hates you and wants you to lose. Yeah, I love that this game feels like that, but also like I'm not it doesn't want me to lose because of a shitty UI. Like it really is trying to give me as much information to make the most informed decision possible. And I think that's what's frustrated me with these kind of classic mud like games that Often they just kind of actively make them a, a chore to play. And this doesn't feel like that so far. Can the monkey just get away after it steals my shit? Oh, fuck that noise. Because I have to corner it. That was a pretty quick one. <laughs> that was another quick mystery right there. Oops. <laughs> uh, I guess now's the time. I want to try this autopilot option. That's X capital A. Maybe that makes maybe it's the same as explore, but it does combat for me. The first floor seems like it's worth just kind of skipping like that. It looks like that's correct. I bet it's stupid though, like it doesn't look like it wants to use the healing. Oh, stop, 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 stop. No, 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 no more of that. Just wanted it for one floor game, chill out.
Stole, stole my scroll. I wonder if they can despawn if they get far enough away from you. They might. Yikes. I guess that's where having telepathy would be nice. There was an altar room on the first floor. Does uh, autopilot not explore that? Okay, thanks. Mm hmm. I have that particular sound effect volume turned way down so I can hear it in my headphones, but it doesn't really come through to stream. Oh shit, all right, hold on. Fucking monkey. You can run through the water? Oh god, I'm not getting that back. The monkey tweaks you. See the exit here. We've got more of these spectral blades, which are nasty. Up, oh, and I died to spectral blade. I'm gonna continue to autopilot the first floor. I'm trying to get back upstairs to find that thing you were talking about. We have a scale mail. Turn on autopilot, no. Okay. So let's equip this. That went well last time. And so we also got banded mail, but I can't use that yet. I have two scrolls that are the same thing. Scroll of Teleportation. Steel Wand, Javelins. I guess I can test what wands do relatively safely since they have multiple charges. Monkeys are the actual worst. Your monkey? Wait, what? Hold on. Something happened a long time ago that, okay, I can scroll up. Oh. Well, okay, maybe I won't use autopilot on the first floor. I thought it was always gonna be boring stuff. So there was a, a monkey that was stuck. That was what those chains were on the first floor. And it became my ally. Okay, well, leave my monkey alone. It's cool having a party member. I guess that's why you want the staff of healing. So you can save your pet. And it shows me a little ally in the corner. Okay. Neat. All right, monkey, get some healing in here. Excellent. Call. Doesn't show like the monkey counts as an item, so I'm not sure. Scroll, get the fuck out of this room. Hopefully the monkey ran away. Didn't die to that. They're unfair. Kind of what I associate with the genre. That's like a big part of the fun, I think. Yeah, I think my monkey died. OK. 
Okay, so the monkey will not smartly follow me out of the room if it's full of caustic gas. Wait! No, they're alive! Hooray! See no path for further exploration. Huh. So the key to a door is not always necessarily on the floor where the locked door is encountered? Or is or are keys in this game just all interchangeable when they work on any locked door and you just have a finite number of them? One key fits one door. So if there's a locked door on this floor, that means they're oops. And that means there must be a, um, a key on this floor that I haven't found, basically. There's, okay, I should have been searching as soon as I got in here, it was not to fall. Oh god, you fall into deep water. However, there are eels trying to eat me now. Oh, I can lose stuff in the current. And I got eaten by an eel. Womp womp. I will use Explore, but I think I want to not use Autopilot because I miss cool events. Hold. Rations of food, nice. Probably need to start experimenting with stuff before I have copies of it. My thought on having copies is like, why bother identifying something if I then can't use that information immediately on another item that I have? But um, some things like getting a potion of strength early might be might change my success going forward. You know, so chainmail. Okay, I'm kind of getting a sense of the, uh... Armor progression and the amount of strength that you have, so let's try just using these potions, why not? Oh, let's not wear that yet. So, pink potion, apply. You feel confused. Must have been a potion of confusion. That's cool. Yellow potion. It must have been a potion of life. And a scroll. Scroll of enchanting. It looks like you get this one pretty quickly, most of the time. Let's enchant my dagger. We got confusion, life, and enchanting. Confusion wore off. Just boosts. Rapier. Interesting. Inadequate strength, okay. Strength is the main form of like stat advancement, it seems like, or the only stat advancement. Everything else is items, which is cool. Scroll. 
There's a gas vent that I noticed, but no pressure plate, so it might be the pressure plate. Onyx ring. Yes, please. Deal with secrets in 1500 turns. No further exploration. I like how this game is very forgiving with healing, but it's still really easy to die. I think that's a cool way to do it. Um, I feel like I associate healing being difficult to find as being a really important feature of the genre, but here making it tied more to exploration than hoarding is cool. And I guess it allows them to make individual events way more uh, dangerous. I think it just makes a permanent hole, so it might make it impossible for me to explore that part of the level if I go back there. Keep that in mind. Bridge staircase. Feelings rare and roguelites are plentiful in classic roguelites. Interesting. I guess I haven't appreciated the distinction before. You see a lever. Stone bridge extends from the floor. Oh. By an eel again. I'll mount a torch. You have a door key. Aw. Shit. Lost a scroll. I have a map. Did I lose the key just now? Oh, I think it washed away in the water, didn't it? Door key floats away in the current. Bummer. Which means the item is lost forever? Or just that it's floating around somewhere? Oh shit, the eel killed me. Got too excited. These treasure rooms are great. Alright. Potion, Jackal. Now the sword. It's new. Strength is inadequate. I start quaffing potions here. Uh oh, not this again. This fire spread more if there's. Okay, and we died. I wonder if it's like best practice to. Uh... Open potions and water, then, if you haven't revealed the fire potion yet. So when there's a fire, it will always chase you at exactly your speed. You cannot outrun it. Is that accurate? Not doing an axe here. If anyone's interested in putting this on the voting spreadsheet, I guess we have to figure out what the uh, beat condition is. Well, it says the beat condition is finding the amulet, right? 
we have to figure out a reasonable how long to beat. It might end up having to be something like um, Dwarf Fortress, where it's just play Brogue for X hours and try to beat it in the meantime. If you do, great. Keep playing for that hour threshold. If you don't, oh well, you saw a bunch of Brogue. But this game is cool, and I'd, I'd love to play more of it. Um, okay, we got a bunch of scrolls and potions. Let's do that thing I was talking about. Try to activate it in water this time. H A. Potion of Descent. Means I made a new hole. Cool. I wonder if you can fall multiple floors if like the hole is also over a hole. I assume you can. Under a hundred hours. Yeah, I wouldn't mind just doing it in segments. If you didn't want to add a 100-hour game to the spreadsheet because it would take so long to win the vote, like it would be fine to do Brogue 20 hours and then Brogue another 20 hours. Like No one's done it that way yet, but that's allowed. Infinity hours. <laughs> Imagine you play this enough, you start to get a better sense of, like, what is a risk that's worth taking when you have a run that's not worth playing in a risky way anymore, that kind of thing. Let's do the armor. From now on, whenever I experiment with potions, I'm always going to do it in water, yeah, Leon. That's what I was saying. See a monkey. I'm not happy about that. This is new. Okay. Secret door needed to progress. Banded mail. I need to get a push of strength. Okay, so the goblin conjurer's deal is like you gotta kill it before it gets a chance to start spawning spectral blades, gotcha. Ink potion. Away from the swamp eel. Let's try out some potions here in the water, so. Oh god, I'm gonna drown myself. Maybe this is a reason not to do it in the water. Maybe only in shallow water. Okay, what else we got here? Potion of telepathy. Paralysis potion. I guess I just waited out the paralysis and the confusion, so maybe that was actually a good thing. Potion of strength, cool. Awesome. Okay, so chainmail only requires a single strength point. However, my leather armor also has one of five, so only if I. Upgrade it later, I guess. I guess I can enchant it. Sorry, plus one leather armor. Maybe I can sell you later. Whoa. A numbing torrent of anti-magic. Scroll of negation. Did that um de-enchant my armor? No, I don't think so. What do you mean? Can you tell me what it says, Ravanon? I've already used it, so I can't read it again.
Oh, that's cool. Scroll of Magic Mapping. Scroll of Aggravate Monsters. Okay. So I've gotten one of the bad scrolls. Only one other bad scroll. Eels are not fucking around, jeez. Just got fucking mobbed by jackals. Jeez. Okay. Which is why the enchanted one said it was giving me a bonus for having better strength. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that it looks like Explorer will do combat for me if I press it again after it warns me about there being an enemy. Nickel Wand. So how do I identify wands? Do I have to use them on like a thing to understand what their effect is? Oh. Okay, greater than, less than to auto path downstairs and upstairs. Thank you, that's cool. It's a amulet, health charm. The charm will heal 40% of your health and recharge in 759 turns. That's cool. I like that. Especially since it recharges, I might want to... God, I'm getting fucking murdered by eels already. I'm surrounded by them too. Much healthier. Okay, scary. You said go back basically. Okay, gotcha. Thanks, that's a really good shortcut. Appreciate it. Not only path to it if it's already found it, like in those situations. Crimson Potion, Fucking Monkey. It stole my chainmail and then it lost it in the water. What a jerk. Really hard to catch up to them. All right. It happens. I got it back. I think it finally made it over to the shallows. See what's up here with. Oh, that's cool. It tells you how long it has to recharge still. Burgundy potion. Potion of detect magic. 
So it just tells me that there is magic on the level, or it doesn't tell me like what the magic is. Oh, it tells me whether stuff I have is positive or negative. Interesting. That's cool. These are all beneficial. Scroll of Identify. How about the wand? It's a wand of negation. Scroll of Enchanting. Let's put that on the health charm. Ready. Okay. Scroll of Remove Curse. So let me... Ah, I... Removes anything cursed that's in my pack. Okay, gotcha. Kitties, be nice to each other. This monkey. Tell you what. Oh, I see. So it'll show beneficial versus malevolent effects off screen with the blue icon or the red icon. Gotcha. Bring these monkeys is not easy, jeez. So detect magic is always on the floor that you're on and permanent once you unlock it. Oh no, I lost my health charm. And I died to an eel. Oops. Yeah. It's gonna be like the nastiest enemy in the game for me right now. Ocean. Ocean of Strength. Beautiful. Ocean of Descent. Uh oh. Scrolls. Scroll of Enchanting. I'll put it on my armor for now. Oh, let's put it on the new armor. of identify it is a plus one leather armor okay cool so excited to have that healing charm before Jeez. Another potion of descent. I don't know when I want to use a potion of descent, to be honest. You're paralyzed. Oh, the eel is taking advantage of that. And I died to the eel. Whoops. This game's a lot of fun. It's very addictive. Like, I feel like you can get some exciting items early on that give you hope for the run as a whole. Like, a lot of my fears with this genre is that you play it and your chance of getting an exciting item is really low, and then when you die, it's like, oh man, I'm never going to get that again. But I think other than the runs where I've died instantly, something really good has happened before I died. All right, let's try potions here. Potion of life, your maximum health increases by 30%, 33%. Poison gas is eating at you. Not good. Yeah, because fall damage isn't that terrible. Scale mail, good. No, don't walk into the garbage. Uh, 
scroll, scroll of recharging. Ah, so it only matter if something needed charges. Wands always have to be shot in a line, basically. But you don't know what it does, okay. Ocean, fucking monkeys. I'm moving diagonally, monkey. Got it. Some scrolls here. Torrent of anti magic. Sunlight streams through cracks in the ceiling. Scarlet Potion was strength on a different floor. Shoot. I want to find some water so I can start testing potions here. Water near the exit. Oh, it doesn't want to pat there because of the. Okay, I see. Lots of jackals again. It doesn't want to go here because it thinks it's bad stuff there. All right, so we don't want to experiment with scrolls in a swamp, because <laughs> if it's fire, we will be extremely dead. So let's try to get somewhere else that's water, but not swampy. This room is suspicious. This is maybe safer. Kill this kobold first. Okay. Two yellow potions. Potion of invisibility. Cool. Two aquamarine potions. Potion of telepathy. Scarlet potion. Potion of levitation. Let's me cross holes, presumably. Crimson potion. Potion of strength. Wonderful. Oh, scale mill of mutuality. Glowing runes of mutuality adorn the scale mill. The damage that you incur from physical attacks will be split evenly among yourself and other adjacent enemies. Oh, it's thorns. Okay, that's cool. Scroll of enchanting. Let's put it on this scale mill, shall we? This invisibility thing is really nice. You eel. Finally killed my first eel. Oh, 
I know the actual beat condition is getting the amulet at the bottom, but like a soft beat condition would be getting a run where I have almost everything identified. Oh, I had an enemy drop something for the first time, I think. Wasted that heal. There's a key. Do not dive into the depths. I don't have my levitation anymore. Two rations of food. Oh, eels can't hurt you when you're moving over water with levitation. Oh, interesting. Is this this pressure plate? Am I able to throw stuff diagonally? I assume so. Cool. Nice. Ring of transfer of oh, regeneration. Heal you in proportion. Oh no, let's do transference. I'd rather have drain than passive. Well, I assume this results in better overall healing, but maybe that's wrong. I'll give it a try. And that should have identified all of those things. Okay, these rooms are great. Treasure rooms. Go transference ring. Black potion. Chained kobold. I mean, my friend. Free the goblin. Yes. Faithful ally. Heck yeah. Oh, I'm hungry. Shit. Uh oh. Oh, the toad is making me hallucinate. <laughs> I like how that works. <laughs> the bog monster hits you. You defeated the unicorn. The centaur hits the acid mound. <laughs> That's what a cool mechanic. Let's just chill here for a minute. So the effect on my health was not a hallucination. I wasn't sure about that. I think my goblin buddies saved the day there. I'd be more careful with toads, apparently. Jeez. Ring of transference. Kicking butt here. Eleven eighty-seven more turns. Food. Thank you, Cabo. Yeah, plus three scale mill of mutuality. Thorns is doing me favors because it's probably more damage than I'm able to do with uh, my weapon. Dispatch the toad in its sleep. Hey, leave Brittany alone. Thank you. Sorry, goblin buddy. Lava! Fantastic.
Use my invisibility here to try to take out that. Totem. It worked. Cool. Lucian here, Ken. No goblin, bro. Yeah, I think the combination of that ring and that armor is like paying bills for me right now. This is great. Goblin Bro is still alive. What are we doing? Ring of Transference. 641 more turns, okay. We should be trying other stuff here just to see if it's magic or not. It's really a bad room to encounter a toad. Run away, goblin. Don't let the bloat gas kill you. Let's, let's not let's say we did. Pressure plate clicks underneath your goblin. No, goblin! At least it's a good thing he... Still have a bunch of potions I need to experiment with, but I want to find some water first. You've developed a telepathic bond with your goblin. Oh, that's cool. So I basically just know where they are now. Fence. Brown potions. Do not step on the pressure plate. Thank you for the prompts. Plate clicks under the jelly. It's bad. Hey, Gabo. Net traps are kind of a pain. That's bad, okay. Oh, the thorns damage could proc the transference. Yeah, that would be pretty OP. Vampire pets. That ring of transference is doing me favors here. That's for sure. seen a blood wart healing spore thing in a minute. Oh god. Slowly watching my health come up, depending on which one I'm attacking. Goblin Mystic. Oh, they're shielded by the Mystic back there. Jeez. Fuck that noise. 
Oh god, this slime is gonna kill me. Mm hmm. Do this potion of life. Run away now, do you know any allies? You killed my goblin buddy. Dick. Oh fuck now, I'm hallucinating with enemies. They will follow me, okay. Good to know. That hallucination effect is mean. One of these has like a weak thing that they do. Centipede. Fuck that. Could defeat me in one hit. Or Brittany. Okay, so this thing applies like a weakness effect to me. Huh. Fall, I'm probably gonna die from the fall unless if I land in water. Centipede is also confused. It's probably gonna manage to kill me though in the process. Let's try some other stuff here. Okay. Scroll of telepathy, I think. Oh, scroll summon monsters! <laughs> the one really bad thing. Alright, uh, just to clarify, I don't have the thing that makes me fall, right? I think I have to... Descent. Oh, shit! Well, we're definitely dead now. This is such a fun run. Oops. You died. Oh, it was going so well, and then it wasn't. <laughs> I don't know where that centipede even came from, but it was a dick. Protection charm. Shield you for 20 turns. Okay. Yeah, the weakness was like what was stopping my ring of transference from being good. Monkey ally. Can your monkey ally steal things from enemies? Paralytic gas sprays. Thanks, rat. Here you go, you dummy. Get away from that monkey. Got some water here. Let's try drinking some of the shit. Well, that was the descent potion. Broadsword, you say? 
Okay, that's gonna take a while. Wooden barricade. Might it burn? Interesting. So I have to use fire to get past something. Potion of strength. That's cool. Can I use that broadsword now? No. Got a ways to go before I can use the broadsword. Potion of levitation. Potion of paralysis. Potion of hallucination. Wow, that really makes you hallucinate bad. Scroll of Identify is a plus zero broadsword. Capital Z to wait for a long time. Okay. New scroll. Scroll of Aggravate Monsters. Stealth range 107, that's a cool way to do that. I feel a sense of loss. How oh, did I lose the monkey? Far away from where I was, I think that's what happened. Potion of Descent floats away in the current. Well, that's too bad. That would have been nice to have as a backup. A lot of scrolls on this floor, geez. Okay, let's mess with some water shit here. Um, scroll of enchanting. Can I enchant a sword or a thing multiple times? Let's find out. Yes, I can. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna get more potions of strength then. Max health up by 33%. Cool. Fucking eels. Monkey still ate darts. Okay, I can live with that. Man, it sucks bad not having um, that ring of transference. The thing was awesome. Conjurer. I just want to take that. Though the slime is chasing me. Okay. Slowly but surely, you kill the jellies. Okay. Now I have a spear. Bonus because of your excess strength. Defeat 20 enemies. Increase your accuracy by 2%. Increase your damage. 
Reach of the spear permits you to simultaneously attack an adjacent enemy and the enemy directly behind it. Cool. I want to use the broadsword, but I'll use that for now. Let's check out what the deal is with the cyan potion. It is a potion of speed. Okay. That room does not look fun. Let's not do that. Watch out for these frickin' frogs, man. You stupid jackal. And I'm hallucinating again. I love the hallucination graphic, that's great. Big fan. I have not sufficiently explored prior floors, unfortunately. So I'm probably leaving behind a bunch of good shit. Excuse you, Jackals, thank you. Okay, um... Scroll of teleportation. Oh, shit. That's potentially a really bad thing, depending on where it sends you. Scale mail right now is nice. Let me go ahead and identify it. Probably should identify it before I uh, equip it, huh? Scale mail four. What does the four in brackets mean? Does anyone know? Okay, so, well, I might have to use levitation. We'll see. Maybe not. Oh, four armor. Okay, thank you. I feel like you want to explore as much as possible on the earlier floors since enemies get harder the deeper you get. Ring of Light, cool. Visibility charm, protection charm. I know we're at time here. Let me chant the broadsword some more here and make it in range. Almost over the penalty, but it's an upgrade now. It's a huge damage upgrade. Um, future Marstead, here's the deal. Uh, the numpad moves. Shift D is a really important button. Thank you for moving the webcam, Ben. Let's you see everything that you've identified so far. Um, this is your current setup right now. Uh, don't forget that you can press X to auto explore. You can press five to wait in place. You can press greater than to go to the next, to path to the next door if you found the next door, it's going down, and less than to go to the prior floor. Uh, it just auto paths and stops if it runs into any enemies or anything. Um, I think that's most of what you need to worry about here. There's a help menu, you can review some of the controls, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, good luck. Thanks a ton for sharing this. So I guess this game is really cool. I'm excited to play more of it. Saved.